Today marks one year since the 2024 Houston derecho. What started as a forecast for some severe weather quickly turned into a deadly storm. Video of downtown Houston showed the aftermath. Dozens of windows blown out from winds estimated to have reached 100 miles per hour. In a matter of about an hour, more than a million Houstonians were left without power. Eight people were dead and homes, businesses and infrastructure destroyed. The May derecho continued what was already a hectic year of flooding followed by Hurricane Barrel. It is 835. Certainly, Justin, moments we will not forget anytime no. soon. No, and I, it was crazy because I remember getting home that day and I've, I've never seen winds like that, right? Even in, in the hurricanes we've been here in, in the 10 years I've been here in Houston, never seen wind like that, right? This is a great shot. In fact, if you want to know a nice little deep dive on this, uh, Chief Meteorologist Anthony Yanez has got a great video that we put up on our YouTube page. Just go to uh, KPRC2 on YouTube, do a quick search. I think it's the first video or maybe the second one on there. Did it yesterday afternoon. It's really, really good analysis of what happened. But then look at this. Look at all of the grid here across the metro. And then look at this just massive pockets of it out. These were the power outages that the center point uh, gentleman was just talking about when Zach had mentioned. And this was part of the reason why when you were looking at, you know, 80, 90 to 100 mile an hour winds that were blowing out windows downtown, it was taking these big transformers, right? The major ones and just mangling these. This was up around Cyprus in North Northwest Harris County, which was one of the hardest spots that was hit as that line really started to accelerate as it got closer to downtown. Some of these spots in particular, we're talking, you know, hurricane force winds that were coming at us. Now we're getting into the hurricane season in two weeks. Yesterday was the first day that the National Hurricane Center issued their daily tropical outlook. I'll show you what it looks like out in the tropics here in just a second as we'll be tracking. But remember, we got hit by the B storm last year, right? So it only takes one, but obviously the peak of the season, not for a couple months yet. And it's because you say, well, but the hottest time of summer is generally in July, right? But just like the hottest time of the day is not 12 o'clock in the afternoon, it's actually about three or four because the heat has to accumulate throughout the afternoon. It sort of loads up if you want to think of it that way. And then the summer does the same thing for the hurricane season. That's why it's near the end of summertime, if you want to put that in quotations. 